Swashbuckling adventures on the high seas without leaving your couch doesn't sound so bad. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be casting off with our picks for the top 10 video game boat levels. For this list, we looked at individual nautical sections of games, based on a boat or on a ship. We're sticking to one game per franchise, and just to be clear, submarines and spaceships do not count for this list. I'll take the sky any day. Number 10, Frigate, GoldenEye 007. This classic level in the most classic of games features all of the favorites. Bomb defusal, hostage freeing, and the planting of tracking bugs on the pirate stealth helicopter housed in the ship. Dispose of the Yanis terrorists in style aboard this French ship, Lafayette, while you rescue the hostages and save the day. Very Bond. Number 9, Daisy Cruiser, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Mario Kart 7. This ship holds a special place in the hearts of anyone who owned a GameCube. Probably the best and most exciting map in the game, nothing was more fun than careening around the ship's dangerous corners and avoiding those sliding tables in the dining room. Which, by the way, in real life would probably be bolted to the floor to prevent just that. The 3DS version also had parts of the lower deck now flooded and filled with clams, perhaps reflecting the current state of the cruise ship industry. Number 8, Rattle Battle, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. In a game full of ship levels, Rattle Battle stands out. On the deck of a sunken galleon in a swamp, you take control of Ratley the Rattlesnake throughout the level. Here, you have to make massive jumps across large pits, reach difficult items, and go toe-to-toe -to -toe against cannons, zingers, flitters, and kaboings on this intricate and fun ship level. Depending on whether or not you've mastered Rattley's super spring ability and the platform timing, this stage could either be smooth sailing or a bumpy ride. Number 7, Death on the Mississippi, Hitman, Blood Money. Waiter. As Agent 47, you must disguise yourself on a private yacht sailing down the Mississippi River in order to eliminate six Gator gang members and their boss, Skip Muldoon. I ordered cake. It's a confection. 47 is tasked with wiping the floor with his drug cartel, and he does not disappoint. <laughs> you can push the guards and gang members into the water, prepare the captain a poisonous cake, and use kitchen knives, fire extinguishers, a shovel, as well as conventional firearms to dispatch your enemies with stealth and style. <laughs> Number 6, Airboat Sections, Half-Life 2. Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. The airboat is definitely a brilliant feature in a brilliant game. This resistance vessel, built from scraps, can skim through the City 17 canals effortlessly. Though it's unarmed when you first get it, it later gets an upgrade in the form of a pulse cannon stripped from a hunter chopper. The airboat is a formidable foe to combine APCs and choppers. Though you often have to solve bridge puzzles to continue with your airboat, the wildly fun speeding and jumping you can do while you're in the boat makes this one vehicle section that's far from just filler. Number 5. Free Roaming the Caribbean, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. It's ironic that one of our favorite bits from the Creed series features no assassinating or parkour whatsoever. But free roaming in the Jackdaw is amazing fun and a great way to level up your weapons and ship. You'll be able to control the navigation, weapons, board other ships, and a lot more. You can even get involved with all kinds of side missions, dive underwater to find treasure, and of course, the highlight of the game, take part in naval combat. Just make sure you find plenty of sea shanties when you're on shore. Otherwise, your crew singing the same songs over and over will get on your nerves. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. 
Brandon. Number four, first airship, World One, Super Mario Brothers 3. This is the first of many memorable stages in one of the greatest platformers of all time. The auto-scrolling Koopaling airship also houses the end world boss, but before you face him, you'll have to face a barrage of cannonballs and bullet wheels on your way up to the cabin. Later stages get some more crazy hazards, so you better get prepared for those stages here. Number three, crew expendable. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. There is a small crew and a security detail on board. Rules of engagement, sir. Crew expendable. In John Soap McTavish's first mission with the SAS, his team has to obtain a package from an Estonian freighter in the Bering Strait. Weapons free. Roger that. Tango down. Fight through armed guards on a rainy ship with your MP5 to retrieve the plutonium hidden within. But before your squad has time to retrieve the warhead inside the cargo hold, the ship comes under external attack. Enemy aircraft in this results in a cinematic mad dash to the top deck with the ship quickly taking on water as you hurry to get to the chopper. Number 2, USS Discovery, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. The introductory level in this long-awaited sequel offers intense combat on the high seas. In the USS Discovery, you must infiltrate a tanker carrying a bipedal, all-weather mech called Metal Gear Ray. Use stealth and strength to combat Russian special forces, typhoon-like conditions, and helicopters. While the stage serves as a great return for Solid Snake, it also serves as one of the biggest gaming bait and switches, as this is the only time you really play as Solid Snake for pretty much the whole thing. I'll be sleeping with the fishes. Before we get to our top spot, here are a few honorable mentions. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. Get across! Get on the floor now! <laughs> Number one, sink or swim. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Taking the top spot is this awe-inspiring combat and evacuation mission. Drake is aboard the pirate ship of Ramses, the Seaward, when he gets himself into hot, or in this case cold water, by exploding a cargo full of propane tanks with a grenade. <laughs> Drake finishes off the guards as the ship floods until it finally sinks. What follows is a thrilling escape play as Drake climbs through the wreckage to the ship's main hall, where a final calamitous rush of water sends the ship spiraling to the ocean floor. As both a fantastic ship and water level, this stage is one for the history books. Did you catch the boat level you were looking for? Which other nautical levels should we have included on our list, and which ones should have walked the plank? Give me your treasure, you reeking musty stench soaked freebooter! For more sunken treasures like this top 10 list published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.